We are Ben and Brandy. When we started our challenge to complete 20 Jeep Badge of Honor trails in 30 days, we never imagined that we'd be taking on the last of these trails without our Jeep. The last time you saw us, we were in Colorado. We had just finished nine Jeep Badge trails, but couldn't complete all the Colorado badges due to snow. With time running short on our 30 days timeline, we had to return home to Missouri. That's when we made a completely unexpected change. Come on! Look at what the property will do! Keep it coming, Ben! We are out here at Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch, and we are in the all-new 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands with Sasquatch Edition. Now, we traded our 2021 Jeep Wrangler JLU Rubicon in for this. However, we are doing a new Jeep build, and we are going to do a budget-friendly build on a Jeep Wrangler, probably an older one probably going to be a jk because we need four doors so we've been wanting a bronco as you've known we had the opportunity to pick this thing up and trade our wrangler in and come out all right on the finance part of it so we did today we have kind of an exciting video for you and what we have is a stock bronco sasquatch versus a stock jeep wrangler versus a stop Jeep Wrangler 392. And we'll be doing all this as we continue to do our challenge of 20 Jeep badge trails in 30 days. And we are coming up on the tail end of that 30 days. But another surprise for you, as of yesterday, the brand new Jeep badge trail out at Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch opened up. So we'll be completing all three here. Also, I would like to take some advice on our new Jeep Wrangler build. What do you guys want to see? Personally, what I'm thinking is Jeep Wrangler JK, four door, 40 inch tires, three and a half inch lift at the least, spray paint it brown, and make that thing about as capable a rig as we've ever had. That's my plan so far, so add anything onto my build in the comments below. We'll see if we can make it happen. We're on guardrail now, going down the first hill. Well, I can tell you right now, fellas, <laughs> coming from a JL all built out, the ride quality is not even close. This, this thing is way smoother on the trails. Maybe not as capable, but way smoother. Oh, it's got IFS, I have no doubt. Yeah, Brandy said just now was saying, it's like we're just gliding along here. You literally can't even feel any of these bumps. There's no swaying, there's no bouncing, it's just smooth. That's awesome. I, I'm sure with the IFS, that helps out a ton. Yeah, for sure. Not all that uh, swaying back and forth. Yeah, that live front axle has its pluses and its minuses. Yeah, and we thought about that going into this build, but it's like, I don't get really crazy enough where I need a solid front axle anyway. I mean, I do a little bit of rock crawl, but nothing crazy. Yeah, you don't have to have a solid front axle to do what we're doing. For sure. Well, maybe what I'll do, since this is an obstacle, I'll just, I'll just follow your line. I'll follow you and follow your line. That's why I hate it that they make such a big deal out of this hill. A lot of times, like on the Jeep Pack Honor, and, like I get people come in. And the only reason I hate it is because they come in, they come in scared. And I'm like, folks, really, you got nothing to worry about. It. It's not that bad of a hill. Checking in with Bronco. what 90% of the folks are coming to see and begin to do these badge trails, or they're not even Rubicons. 100%, yeah, I agree with that 100%. I, I think the badge trails, you definitely make easier, for sure. And unfortunately, a lot of them don't have wheeling experience, usually. 
those are the my favorite kind of people, man. Make good video. This being my first time out, I'm I'm actually I'm I'm impressed. How's that little two door doing back there with street tires? We're doing good back here. Just hanging in there good. Good deal. I'm telling you, his short wheelbase is an advantage in a lot of ways out here. For sure. Copy that. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I just hit this button on the dash. And you don't have to use your brake. You just, just use one pedal. That's cool. Yeah, so when you let off the gas, it automatically puts the brake on. That's what this thing feels like it does in off-road mode. Maybe that is. I always wondered what that off-road mode on mine was. What the f***? The hell did it just lunge us over the edge? That, that Jeep used to do that. Yeah. Lunge me around. How fast did you? No, she just puking at the top. Puking right in your air filter. <laughs> That's all right. It ain't worse that air filter's been in. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is that, Brandon? It's Larry's oh, Hill. Oh. Because yeah. I know I have no skid plate. Well, I never put them on my JL. Really? Never did. Did you never have any issues either? No, I just tear the hell out of everything and keep going. As long well, as the buffer doesn't come off. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, like, as far as like, you didn't have like tra yeah. major transfer case smashing in. I hit diffs a few times, but no transfer case really. No. Differentials. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the perfect test because I want to see where you rub, where I rub. And uh, I, I imagine all, yours and mine are probably the same, same height and everything, probably real close. Oh yeah, but the specs are... When we get out of here, we're going to measure them up before we leave. <laughs> Your mirror's about to tore off. <laughs> <laughs> now i got to pay attention to this. Yeah, you can actually hit stuff on this trip.
it seems pretty good. She crawls good, too, just like a Jeep, man. I mean, it's crawling right up on these rocks, crawling right over them. Okay. Well, no. back up. No. Back up with your tires like that. Sure. Turn hard, passenger. Hard passenger. Woo! You did it now. Half corner inch. Come on. All right. That's like. All right. You're going to come up a little bit right here. So that's going to help. You straighten it out just a hair. There you go. Now you want to. Hang on. More driver. More driver. All right. Hang on. Passenger. I drove around, I was like, I know you're gonna try it. Yeah. You did that before I got to you. That was, that was the first time you went over into that bank. What do you, what's it bent up a little? Just a little. That's coming off there anyway, because I gotta get away from it. Yeah. No, I was saying, that's that's what you got into first time. That's what I was trying to keep you out of from yeah. there on. That's why. That's, if that's I'd have been a little higher, had. it wouldn't have probably happened. It never even Tires would have crawled. Yeah. Dude, that, Pretty that, technical. that was impressive. Yeah. Man. I've seen, you know how many Jeeps I've seen struggle on that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it did.
Yeah, it is. Up. It's fun. Technical, but not too crazy to beat shit up. Right. Like, it's awesome. We're having a lot of fun in this, but yeah, it's still very challenging. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can and you can get off of it. I didn't even take back there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. One of my favorites. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Like, I thought. I've never four wheeled with a Bronco yet. I mean, I've never of them out here, but I've never four wheeled. Well, I'll tell you, when I kind of opened my eyes, I mean, I've always liked them. I like the technology and stuff. But we were wheeling out in Colorado just a couple weeks ago, and there was a group of four Broncos, and they went through three or four different spots that I went through with them, and they all made it through easier than I did. And I had a built JL, 37s, three inch lift. I mean, look. You... I compare it more to like an old an H3 Alpha. Yeah. Like if I could get an H3 Alpha, if I say I had the money, I'd buy me an H3 Alpha, and we do it. We do a comparison. Those are cool. Those are cool. Because they have lockers front and rear, 35s from factory, independent front suspension, independent front suspension, and 5.3, so 300 horsepower, so right in the same horsepower range. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, man, I really think my, these two rigs right here are so comparable. It's definitely spots that I'm still sketchy about when it comes to height. Yeah. You mean like uh, getting on the incline or you mean going into it to just scratch the approach on the bottom? Oh, yeah. Other than that, incline stuff, that doesn't really bother me. Yeah. Like that, that uh, one that dragging. you did by yourself, if I would have had my other Jeep, I probably would have hit that one. But yeah, that's a fun climb. With this one being. Oh, I drug the shit out of everything under this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with how low that mine sits, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, I know. Plus, it's my daily driver, so. <laughs> that makes a difference. Yeah. This definitely. is the first time I've ever wheeled one. It, it seems like a capable. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I definitely changed my opinion about them. I thought that it's just like kind of Ford's way of trying to compete with Jeep. Well, and that gives them another, another aspect. That's kind of the hard thing for me because we've got so many Jeep followers, and every time you say anything about Bronco, it's like all these Jeep people get up in an uproar about it. All my wife hates them. Oh, well, she's, but what's well, like down there? Why? Uh, Brandon yeah, I think said, they're awesome. Yeah, Brandon yeah. said, I got the 392 and he's got the new Bronco, and that gal down there, she's like, oh, good luck with that, you know? But like, I wonder how many Broncos she's wielding on. Probably zero. For me, I just think it's the fact that it's another. It's form. brand bullshit. It's well, it's not just that. Like the reason why I like it is it's just because it's more people coming to the off-road community, yeah, yeah. and it's just making that community bigger. So yeah. there's more cohesion, because I think that's really what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not brand loyal. I don't. If no. if Jeep has a better product, I'll buy a Jeep. If Bronco has a better product, I'll buy a Bronco. But I figured I can't knock it and I can't praise it until I have or drive one. 